Hello, I am Maggie. I am from the United States. In the US, Maggie is a popular name. In Thailand, Maggie is a popular food. <gasps> Please don't eat me. Thank you. Today we will study subject verb agreement. Agreement is when two or more things feel the same way about something. They go together. For example, I think cupcakes are delicious. Do you agree? Do you think cupcakes are delicious? Yes, of course. I think big cupcakes are better than small cupcakes. Do you agree? Of course, big cupcakes are better than small cupcakes. With subject verb agreement, you need the subject and the verb to agree. What is the verb? What is the subject? The verb is the action word of the sentence. The subject is who or what does the verb. For example, my teacher screams. Ah! My teacher screams. Screams is the verb of the sentence. It is the action word. Who or what screams? My teacher. Teacher. Teacher is the subject of the sentence. With subject verb agreement, we need the subject and the verb to agree. How do we do that? A singular subject needs a singular verb. And a plural subject needs a plural verb. What is a singular subject? Singular means single. Single means just one. A book. A cat. A teacher. A cupcake. Just one is a singular subject. A plural subject is more than one. Two or five or ten or fifty or a thousand. A cat, cats. A book, books. A teacher, teachers. A cupcake, cupcakes. To make a subject plural, you add an S or an ES. Plural subjects have an S or an ES. Singular subjects, ding, do not. With verbs, the pattern is opposite. A singular verb has an S. A plural verb does not have an S. So the pattern is opposite. I call this pattern the subject verb seesaw. A seesaw is a toy that goes up and down, up and down. The subject verb seesaw looks like this. If there is one subject, the verb has the S. If there are two or more subjects, the subject has the S and the verb does not. For example, the girl sings. The girls sing. Here are more examples. Follow the S. The boy reads. The boys read. The bird sings. The birds sing. The cupcake smiles. The cupcakes smile. The S goes back and forth, back and forth. Easy, easy to remember. But there are some exceptions. Try to remember 
these three exceptions. Number one, if you have two singular subjects together sharing a verb, the verb becomes plural. For example, my mom walks, my dad walks, my mom and my dad walk. They use a plural subject as two, uh, they use a plural verb as two singular subjects together. Number two. You can't always simply add an S to make a verb plural. There are irregular verbs. Here are three common irregular verbs. Is, are, has, have, does, do. The cat is smart. The cats are smart. The cat has a big brain. The cats have big brains. The cat does my homework. The cats do my homework. Try to remember these irregular verbs. Exception number three. Personal pronouns. I and you are personal pronouns. We are singular subjects. I. I am just one. I am alone. You are just one. You are alone. But I and you need plural verbs. For example, I eat cupcakes. Not I eats cupcakes. You are my best friend. Not you is my best friend. Okay? Remember those three exceptions. Generally, the subject verb seesaw works for most sentences. Let's talk about past tense verbs. I have good news. Past tense verbs are way easier. Usually, the verb stays the same. Here is the verb fly. The past tense of fly is flew. I have a singular subject. The cupcake flew. I have a plural subject. The cupcakes flew. Flew, flew. It stays the same for a singular or plural subject. But remember one thing. If there is a helping verb, it needs to agree. For example, here are common helping verbs. Was, were, have, has. The cat was eating cupcakes. The cats were eating cupcakes. The cat has eaten all the cupcakes. The cats have eaten all the cupcakes. If there is a helping verb, it needs to agree with the subject. Okay, let's review. Number one, a subject is always a noun. Number two, to pluralize a subject, add an S. Number three, to pluralize a verb, take away the S. A singular subject, needs a singular verb. Number five, a plural subject needs a plural verb. Remember the seesaw. Seesaw, seesaw, only one gets the S. Number seven, I and you need plural verbs. Number eight, mom and dad together become a become a plural subject and need a plural verb. Number nine, past tense verbs stay the same. Hooray! Number 10, except when there is a helping verb. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. 
keep trying your best. I will see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.